Live First Alert Storm Team has issued a weather alert day. Indeed, we have as we close out a work week that has been just face it very chilly and now we're heading in to a wintry weekend for Mother's Day. Most of the uh, nonsensical weather taking place on Saturday. Right now, this is a view from our camera at the Dakota Magic Casino, exit one on Interstate 29 down to the south. A few more high clouds out there as the geese make an appearance live on camera there. 50 degrees at Hector, falling barometric pressure. 52, your temperature at Moorhead's Airport. Here is a peak at temperatures across the region, mid 40s, Bemidji and Bidette, still in the 50s up and down the Red River Valley and throughout most of the eastern one half of North Dakota. A few sprinkles moving into Towner County right now up there near Rock Lake. And here is the culprit for tomorrow's weather. It's taking place right now in Saskatchewan. Uh, the type of weather system we call this is an Alberta clipper, but we'll call this one a Saskatchewan screamer. And it's way out of season here. Not uh, unheard of, but certainly not necessarily welcome. By morning, after a fairly quiet evening, overnight increasing clouds and by daybreak, we'll see snow spreading through northeast North Dakota. In the Devil's Lake Basin, we may even see a flake or two in Fargo because of those chilly morning temperatures to start the day. Not a lot of wind to get things started, but the snow, as you watch it in northeast North Dakota, continues in that area for the longest period of time. As we head through midday, still moderate to maybe in isolated locations here, heavy snow. We get these heavier bands setting up because we have temperatures above our heads that are perfect for making those ice crystals. Uh, we could see a very narrow band of enhanced snowfall amounts. Here in the south, still really just rain. The wind is beginning to pick up out of the east and northeast. And in the afternoon, it'll be at times causing some blowing and drifting snow, some reduced visibility. And still by 5 o'clock, our model is showing that the chances of snow will be greatest just north of Fargo heading into the evening while things will be shutting down in the north. Heading into your evening, the snow exits to the south and to the east, and our wind continues into a cold overnight into our Mother's Day morning. How much snowfall? This storm has the potential, if we were colder at the ground and surface, to bring ridiculous amounts of snow. However, uh, I think we'll see a widespread area of one to three inches, and uh, not all just on grassy areas like I mentioned last night. We're going to have some coverage on area roads isolated in that narrow band, three to six plus, and I would not be surprised to see an eight inch total or so from this system. Keep in mind that ground is warm and some of the snow as it falls will melt. So what falls and what you measure will be a little bit different. Gusts over 40 miles per hour at times, and that means tricky travel conditions, particularly in open country. Everybody cold tomorrow. Uh, rain south for most of the day, snow north. And how about Mother's Day? Well, it looks chilly throughout the day, and these wind arrows say it's going to be brisk out there for Mother's Day as well. And here is a look at a photo. Beautiful, Lori, in the Yulin area of a very colorful moon in the sky. Uh, Mother's Day, as we talked about, breezy but a little bit drier than next week. We stay on the cool side of things with rain, rain, not snow, for the middle of next week. Mike? That's so for the Minnesota anglers that are out tomorrow. At least the fish are biting as they're freezing to try and catch them, right? Indeed. All right, thanks. A new 